What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video we're going to be talking about why the CLA 45 AMG is not a good city car. As you guys know, I did move recently to the city of Philadelphia back in August. So I've been here for a good amount of time already and the CLA 45 has been my daily driver so far. My experience with the CLA 45 in the city has not been too smooth. The car actually broke, which if you guys haven't watched that video yet, please go watch it up there to find out what broke. Essentially the CLA 45 is a great car a great daily AMG but in the city it does have its faults and I'm gonna be going over that right now all right guys so the first thing I wanted to go over about why the CLA 45 is not a good city car is the length of this car so I don't know if you can tell on camera but this car is actually really really long it comes in at about 184.8 inches in length that is very very long because the direct competitors of this car the RS3 which is at 176 inches the M2 which is at also at 176 inches this car already has a disadvantage in length because of how long this car is it makes it super difficult to be able to park this car on the streets in the city I'm not sure what city you guys live in but in Philadelphia when I'm going out for groceries or if I'm just going out to get some coffee and I need to drive my car it is almost impossible to find a good parking spot for this car because of how long it is and you might be saying oh well if you wanted a short car buy a Prius or whatever which I agree with you but being with the CLA 45 and it being a compact AMG it's not very compact for its size because of how long it is like I said before it's very hard to parallel park this car and also find a good parking spot for this car especially within the city so if you live in the city and you're thinking about buying the CLA 45 and you need to street park it and you don't have a garage or a driveway think twice because this car is really long and it makes it difficult for finding good spots especially if you're gonna have to street park it every single day I know when I go out in some places where there's really not good parking I find like a pretty decent spot, but I'm like, well, the CLA 45 is too long. If I had an RS3 or an M2, it would have fit at 176 inches, but at 184 inches, this car is extremely long. The other thing that makes this car a bad city car is MPG. So gas mileage in this car is actually terrible uh, in the city. On the highway, it's very good, but in the city, I almost get barely any mileage in my tank when I fill up in a full tank, which sucks because you know, you're paying a good amount in gas and you're barely getting any mileage to drive around. And I feel like it empties out all the time because it's such a small tank. It comes out about 11 to 12 gallons, I think on a full tank, which is not much at all. It's actually a really small tank. It kind of sucks having to refill all the time, but let's hop into the car and I'll show you guys the exact MPG that I get in the city. As you can see on the screen, this is the uh, MPG for the last 30 minutes of driving this car. The last 30 minutes that I drove this car was within the city. And as you can see, it's coming out as to an average of 12.9 MPG. So over the last 30 minutes, you can see that it's gone fluctuated between uh, about to close to 20 um, MPG and then it's fallen down ever since then. So this is the real world MPG in this car. So with this MPG on a full tank, I get about 250 50 miles right now I only have 42 I do need to fill up but on a full tank I get close to 250 miles sometimes I only get 200 which is terrible mpg in this car as you can see that's the average 12.9 mpg but when i'm driving on the highway a full tank i can get close to 400 miles to the uh full tank so mpg is really really bad in the city um as it's a given with pretty much any car the mpg is going to suck but for a four cylinder that's supposed to be more uh fuel efficient i'm actually surprised by how bad the mpg is and it sucks living in the city because i barely get any um <laughs> mileage on a full tank and gas is very expensive in the city so be sure to budget expensive gas if you have the CLA 45 in the city because it's gonna be expensive to run. The other thing that makes this car a really bad city car is ground clearance. So this car sits really, really low and I'll show you a clip of me exiting my driveway. But essentially what makes this ground clearance so bad is that in the city, uh, I don't know about your city, but in Philadelphia, the roads are horrendous. There's potholes, there's divots, there's everything, there's new construction going on, and it ruins the roads, completely ruins them. And it makes it very hard to navigate in this car because you're always, always bottoming out in this car. And I'll show you a clip right now of me exiting my driveway, show you exactly how and what I mean by how bad the ground clearance is in this car.
So as you guys saw in the clip, the front bumper almost clipped the bottom of the exit of the driveway because it's such at an angle, which you're going to find normally in the city because nothing's really flat and people don't really care about cars that much. So they don't make stuff to uh, accommodate low cars. And then also the side sills almost bottomed out completely. I think they probably scraped a little bit. And then as we come to the back of the car, you can see that the bumper the rear bumper did scrape on the bottom of the driveway as it was exiting. Keep in mind, that was me going out at an angle. Sometimes I can't exit at an angle because there's cars blocking the driveway partially and I have to go front forward and that scrapes the front bumper and the rear bumper. So I'm gonna get down and show you guys exactly the damage it's caused of driving this car and how low it sits. As you guys can see at this angle, there are so many scrapes on this rear diffuser because of how low this car sits and that is just from exiting my driveway. That's also hitting potholes and also just hitting divots within the city limits. As you can see, the car sits really low and I have the exact dimensions of the ground clearance. So the CLA 45's ground clearance comes at 3.4 inches. Now you might be thinking, is that really that bad? To put that number into perspective, the competitors of this car, the RS3, comes at 4.2 inches. The M2 comes at 4.8 inches and the C63 actually also comes at 4.8 inches. Why does this car sit at 3.4 inches ground clearance compared to its competitors? It sits very, very, very low. And that makes it very difficult to pull one, to pull out of my driveway and two, to just drive around the city because of how low it sits. So the ground clearance of this car is just, it's terrible, especially with that uh, AMG performance pack diffuser, it probably makes it even worse. So keep that in mind if you think about driving the CLA 45 in the city. So the other thing that makes this car a bad city car is the suspension. So this car is a AMG car. So it is gonna have the harsher suspension, which is all right, you know, like that's, that's sort of what you get with a sporty car. It does have a strut brace for the front suspension, which is awesome. Um, but the thing that sucks about it is, is that it does have such a rigid suspension that it can break. Like I was saying in the beginning of this video, my car did break because of the roads within the city. And if you haven't watched that video, um, I did explain that the suspension in the front actually broke. So the whole front left suspension had to be completely replaced, luckily under warranty. But essentially what happened was that all the potholes and the roads that sucked, this car with its AMG suspension being a lot more rigid actually broke because it was set up as a sport suspension and it needed that uh, whole front left assembly completely replaced. And that goes to show that this car is meant more for back roads and not the city roads that really suck. Even though this car was fixed, uh, it is starting to creak a little bit again because of the roads. So keep that in mind. This is a true AMG. It has a true AMG suspension. If you go over potholes or if the roads suck in your city, you might have some issues like I did with the suspension and it sucks, but that's just sort of the nature of having an AMG. I did want to include this as a reason to why this car is not a good city car. So the last reason why the CLA 45 is not a good city car is because of the transmission. So this transmission is set up to be sporty as you would expect out of an AMG, but unfortunately that makes it a very very lurchy and very annoying transmission within the city. So when I'm driving at low speeds around the block on the city blocks, this car lurches. It feels like you're getting rear-ended by someone when you're going in lower gears. So the automatic transmission in the city, the computer can't really figure out exactly which gears to hold or shift or at what time to shift because it has a lot of trouble because it's going so slow at low speeds, it doesn't understand. And it sucks because one, you're lurching all over the city, like back and forth, back and forth, and it just does not feel nice. And that's probably the worst part of this car within the city is how much it lurches, uh, especially with that eight speed transmission. Uh, but other than that, when you're driving on back roads, this thing is quick and fluid and it feels really, really nice. So before we end the video, I did wanna give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is T-Carbon. They sent me out a really nice carbon fiber fiber key case that I have on my Mercedes keys and I think it looks really really great so big shout out to them for sponsoring today's video so if you're looking for some carbon fiber key cases for your car whether you drive this car or any other car check out t-carbon so guys that wraps it up for today's video I hope you guys found some reasoning as to why the CLA 45 is not a good city car overall though it's been great after it 
got fixed because it broke because it drove in the city. Um, the transmission and other issues are very annoying. But overall, I do really love this car and it sucks that it does suck in the city, but obviously I'm gonna be keeping it um, for a little bit longer while living in the city. Uh, but if you guys were thinking about buying this car and you strictly do live in the city, keep those reasons in mind as to why this car is not a good city car. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. But other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video.